Today I'm gonna show you how to make caffeine type breaking speech just like this. First thing I noticed in the song is the guitar and it sounds super distorted and kind of affected and here's what I did to get something kind of similar. First I played this little acoustic part. For the guitar, we've got three parts. One is just the same thing, played two different times, pan left and right, and then the other one's a little counter melody. And that's cool, but where the real sauce comes in is in the processing. Got a little EQ taking out some of the highs and lows, but where the real magic is, is with distortion and then a filter automating. Use this power up preset in Saturn, a little bit more EQ, and then this auto filter is doing a lot of the work. Here's without it. But check it out when I add it on. All I did was bounce that to audio and then I ended up pitching it up one just to match the key of the song. Here's what that final guitar sounds like. Next I added a kind of a crunchy little bass for a breakdown part using Serum. And the notes I'm playing are just the root notes of the chords and the guitar. Next we got the drums and here's what those sound like. All right, so there's a lot of cool stuff going on here. I feel like break-ins is really good about just like making a lot of crazy moments and everything, but it kind of sounds, like I don't know, it just sounds like it's supposed to, you know? A lot of times what I'll do is get just the basic pattern. So I'll have like kick, snare, 808, and like a hi-hat and then I'll go back and add little touches to it. What I mean by the little touches are these like glitch type sounds. All these are little just like glitch fills I found on Splice. Also, just so you know, all these drum sounds are available for free, link in the bio. And if you make anything with the sounds, make sure to DM me on Instagram. I would love to check it out. Another thing I like to do to create moments is adding either Looperator, Effectrix, or RC20 on specific parts of the drums. What I did here was just use this gentle modification preset and then was automating the mix. Check out what that does. So yeah, it kind of adds those like little weird things, which, you know, isn't a lot, but these things kind of add up just to make your stuff sound more unique and more professional. Another cool thing to do with drums is to add fills at the end of an eight bar or a 16 bar phrase. Woo! I love doing stuff like that. It's so much fun. Sometimes I'll add like distortion or some crazy stuff to it, but I thought this sounded cool. This is just this little neon 113 drum fill that I kind of chopped up, a little Oliver fill, and then just this FX riser smooth. Those in context sound a little something like this. Another cool thing to do is to take out the instruments or the drums for a specific part. This is cool to emphasize certain lyrics or just give variation to the beat. This is a cool moment as well to where you can add glitches, fills, or just weird sounds to kind of take up that space. One cool thing to do is to use granular type drum or percussion loops. You can make them yourself, but they're kind of tedious to make. So if you're just starting out, I would recommend just going on Splice or maybe Looperman or YouTube or something and just try to search for granular percussion or drum loops. And then just chop up little bits and see if they can work in your song. Then we got the 808 going as well. And this one is just the five speed 808 for my breakings kit. One thing I like to do in these moments of space is take a piece of the guitar, pitch it up 12 and reverse it. And that's exactly what I did here. Just took this little piece right here, dragged it over, did a little fade, pitched it up 12. Kind of just gives you a different little texture. The last part of this is the master chain. There's no really right way to do this. This is just my personal kind of thought process is I already want my beat to hit without it. But when I go there, I want it to just kind of push it and make it as loud and as punchy as possible. That's kind of what I'm doing here using this Oxford inflator plugin, little bit of OTT. A lot of times I'll experiment with this on the master just to kind of crunch it a little bit and just make it sound tighter. And then I like to soft clip. I'm using just the standard glue compressor, but if you're an FL, you know, you have the fruity soft clipper, the T-Rack clipper is also a really good one or standard clip or JST clip. That's another one of my favorites. But yeah, after you put all these things together, this is what it sounds like.
way I can improve the videos or any other ideas that you have, make sure to let me know in the comments below or just shoot me a DM on Instagram and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Keep cooking at that heat. I'll catch you next time.